Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. And um, today I'm just going to walk you through um, my personal finance dashboards. Um, I just updated it for the month of June. And, um, you know, uh, I'm showing it off not to brag, not to, um, you know, I work full time, I have a full time job as a software engineer. Um, but I just have this uh, dream to uh, create my own business um, on top of working full time, which I, I, I feel like I have the capacity to do. Um, I've made my for myself uh, a nice suite um, of personal finance dashboards, uh, a whole um, data and analytics ecosystem um, uh, for, for my personal finances and. Uh, you know, for anybody out there who, um, you know, is wealthy and, um, you know, needs help with their personal finances, needs, want, you, if they, if you'd want me to, you know, build um, for you what I've built for myself, um, you know, please get in contact with, with me. Um, uh, you know, the best way would just be through the chat. Um, send me your email and then I'll, I'll get in contact with you, you know, just not chat, but comment, just comment on the video. Um, and we can talk about it, but um, let me uh, dive into what these dashboards are showing for the month of June and uh, let me share my screen. All right, so here's the monthly budget dashboard for uh, June of 2024. And, um, you know, uh, it's been a journey for these past four months. Um, because um, you know, Mint got taken away from from me and from all of us, and that was uh, what I was using for uh, transactions. And uh, I had to transfer that uh, process from Mint to Personal Capital, and I successfully did that. But it took me about four months to do that, and I wasn't tracking my finances very well. Um, during that time, and lo and behold, my spending got out of control. Um, and, uh, you know, for the month of March and April and May, my spending was very, very high. But um, for June, I, I kind of cracked the whip and put myself on a monthly budget. And I think I did a really good job of staying on track. Um, let me just show you what these numbers mean. So, um, you know, we got three rows of KPIs. The first row is all actuals. The second row is all goals. And then the third row is the, the difference between those two. So for, for take home, I thought I was going to make $8,614, but um, I made a lot more money off my credit card rewards. I made uh, an extra $335, not a big difference. Uh, what I'm most proud of is spending. So my goal was to spend 8,251 and I did go over by 550, but uh, that's not a terrible amount to be over. Um, that's pretty close to on track. And then for cash flow, I was hoping to cash flow 363 and I got uh, only 149, so I lost 215 in cash flow, but that's very negligible. Uh, my net worth uh, went way up. Uh, I thought it was going to be at 135, but I was at 141, of a gain of a, a, a difference of 5,675. So um, I made some good money, and then investment return. Um, I thought I was going to make 814. I only made 443. Um, if I look at just net actual diff. This compares the actual from between May and June. Uh, for net worth, my net worth went up $10,000. Um, so yeah, a pretty good month. Uh, let's go back to goals. Um, in this plot right here, it shows uh, goal versus actual for all my um, accounts. 
So where did I miss the mark? Um, well, I had a lot. I have a lot more cash than I thought. Same amount of savings. Um, I paid off a good amount of credit card debt this month. Uh, my retirement's about the same. Uh, the equity didn't go up as much as I wanted it to. It was uh, only by half. Uh, Trek equity is the same. Um, so really, where the gains happened was uh, in my in my cash and my credit cards. I paid off three thousand dollars worth of credit card debt, and I gained three thousand seven hundred thirty nine in cash, so a total gain of uh, 5674 A pretty good month. Um, uh, where did that money come from? Uh, the big thing is uh, I'm getting a new roof. I filed an insurance claim, and uh, they gave me seven grand uh, to help pay for that. I still have to pay $5,000 in deductible, but um, you know, good thing is I'm getting a new roof, so that's where I got... Uh, that's where that extra money came from. Um, here's uh, all the spend categories that I have, goal versus actual. So, you know, where did I miss the mark? Um, I spent a little bit more on grocery. I did good. I, I didn't eat out much that this month. Um, car maintenance, a bunch of car maintenance happened. Can't, can't avoid that. Um, uh, dog, a little bit more on dog food. Health, a little bit more on health. Less on dating, um, a little bit less on home. As you can see, I was pretty much on the mark in my categories. I I did a pretty good job. I was only off by um, 500. Um, here's a waterfall chart of of the same thing. So just show where the difference. Where did um, where did uh, things change? You know, car maintenance put me in the negative. Uh, the dog health eat out put me in positive dating put me in positive i didn't tithe i was supposed to but i didn't um so i lost 549 you know that was uh the difference between actual and goal negative 549 i was 549 over so and then uh i like this chart right here this is goal versus actual of um all my accounts so, um, you know, where, where were the big differences? Uh, Bank, Bank of America, I, uh, I have four, $4,604 more than I thought. Um, I, I did pay off a lot of credit cards, so I did good there. Uh, retirement, nothing really happened there. My house, my truck. So the house value didn't go up as what I thought it was. Yeah, this is a nice table, just gold versus actual. It shows all the spending categories, so gold versus actual. And then here's the three kinds of differences. Uh, actual gold diff, the difference between two, these two values. Actual diff, the difference between um, May and June. And then gold diff, um, the difference between um, this goal and last month's actual. Um, here's the top KPI, same as what you see in these right here, um, but just in bar graph showing you uh, what changed. Um, you know, for for the goal spend breakdown, you know, um, of all the money I had to take home, I was hoping to um, cash flow um, $363, but uh, I only cash flowed 148, but that's still pretty good. Usually, for the past three months, I've been um, way over. So these graphs don't even make sense when you when you spend over your take home. But um, it's good that I was at least under. Uh, here's the um, you know the balances, goals versus diff of my uh, my cash accounts, and then. These are my uh, savings accounts. And then these are my credit card accounts. 
and here are my retirement accounts. So same thing, uh, this is my house, 